What's up bikers and welcome back to Workout of the Week. This time it is very different. We're doing isometric holds for quad and shoulder muscular endurance and then the king of all strength movements, farmer carry, 40 kilo kettlebells. We're gonna go, you go, I go. So we've got time under tension the whole time. I'm gonna sit in this ski sit with the dumbbells like this as Ad takes the dumbbell, the kettlebells around the target. Ready? <laughs> Ten rounds. Three, two, one, go. Good man. Watch one of those soft boxes. There you go. So I'll put these down when Ad gets to me, and I can't pick these up until Ad's in his position. There we go. Streamline. You can of course do this on your own, just alternating between, maybe timing 20 to 30 seconds on the hold. Good man. Hey. A shame, think something new under sun. Mm. Yeah, because this is round two of ten, isn't it? You can't take back some things. You already done, done. No. You blame things that you do ah. on somebody else. Mm. Good man, good man. No. But they all see, but they all see is you need help. Mm. Oh, but still you try so hard to cover up your. Yeah. So hard. Coming up your tracks. It's round seven. Spend all your days running away. You got one So much of your life scheming and trying to get over. Bah. That's seven done. Yep. Oh. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> you got no time. Last round. Oh, yeah, I've got plume plate. Good. One more hole, lad. We're done. Shouldery, wasn't it? <sighs> we're not done yet though, we're gonna do some core, but a quick explanation as to why we did that work specifically. Kettlebells at a decent weight. It loads you, makes you stronger through your core, usable strength through your hips, but ultimately it's grip, which we know is fantastic for riding bikes. And then the ski sit. If you didn't figure it out yourself, an isometric hold on the quads. So you're gonna work for that holding position on your bike. And then the muscular endurance in your shoulder is great for stabilizing. But we missed a couple of bits there. We're gonna get some rotation and upper mid back in the form of banded side planks. So core today, we love bang for book training, working multiple body parts. Today is all about isometrics, so that's a static hold. We're gonna do a side plank here, but with a row. So having my elbow at 90 degrees locked into my rib cage, holding a nice side plank position, 
That's gonna work resistance to rotation, which is crucial on the bike, and that upper mid back stabilization for bike handling. We're gonna do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four times each side. That's a Tabata style, which makes the most out of your time. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. So this type of training where we're mixing it up with all types of specific movements for mountain biking, that's available on the Fit for Racing program online now. It's a good time to start training before Christmas to ramp up for next season. Are we on? Oh, click, click. Oh, 10 second transition. Strong. Oh. These 20 seconds are getting longer, mate. <laughs> Last round. Whoa. Whoa. And that's it for this week's Workout of the Week. Thank you, Adam Brayton. And we'll see you next time. Peace.